everybody. Welcome to my homestead. My favorite time of year. From sprouting to the seeds and watching the sprouts emerge from the dirt. Grow little ones, grow. We feed you and give you the sunlight that you need for the nutrients you need. Grow little babies, grow. Okay, it's time for the big boy pots and the big girl pots. Sprout them eyes, little taters. Beautiful herbs for our tasty palates. Now it's time for the nursery, little babies. Okay, guys, I'm out here in the greenhouse. Oh, it's so hard for me to get down here. I need to get my lettuce and kale and Swiss chard and stuff planted. Now, in a lot of places you would have already had this stuff planted, especially in your greenhouse. But I don't have any heat out here in my greenhouse. And uh, we've had some really cold days and nights here in Hills, Arkansas. So, but I'm hoping that coming this fall and this winter, uh, Mr. Brown said he's going to fix me some kind of heat in here so I can have lettuce and, and different uh, vegetables and stuff through the winter. And I'm really excited about that. But this dirt I've gotten here. It's, it's compost. I put, uh, I've had some coffee grounds in a big old five gallon bucket that I've had for a year. It had uh, coffee grounds and it had uh, eggshells in it. It's been sitting for a year, so I've got that mixed in here. And uh, I've got some fertilizer that I put in here, but most of this is compost. But, uh, got some spinach. It's Bloomsdale spinach. I'm sorry about the noise, but the wind is blowing today. And of course, when I come out here, it's going to get worse. But this is a cool season crop, and I'll plant some more of it for this fall. But I'm going to plant some right now. It says the sow in early spring and late summer, so I'll plant it twice. Mr. Brown loves spinach, so I'm going to try to get some planted. I think I'll plant the spinach down here. Now, I've got a bunch of plants started. I've got tomatoes and uh, jalapenos. I've got uh, bell peppers, cabbage, broccoli, cauliflower, uh, jalapenos. I said that once. I can't think of everything. I got planted cherry tomatoes. I got all kinds of stuff up on the shelves in the greenhouse started. They're not very big yet, but it's not time here in Arkansas to really get stuff out in the garden yet, so they've got a while to, to mature here in the greenhouse where I put them in the garden. I forget about half an inch depth. I love having stuff in my greenhouse all year round. And uh, last summer, I was able to keep the lettuce and spinach, and uh, I had some cherry tomato plants that stayed in here up till fall. And I even had tomato plants out in the main garden on up into cold weather. So, uh, that's one thing we love is tomatoes. And my little granddaughter, Avery Jo, she loves cherry tomatoes. 
and she'd come out here with me in the greenhouse, <laughs> and she'd reach up just as tall as she could and pick them cherry tomatoes. It was the cutest thing. And she'd just pop them in her mouth, and she'd love them. And I caught her one time. I just watched her do it. She picked about five of them. And she'd look around and see if I was looking. <laughs> As soon as she got her handful, baby, she was gone. She just ran off like I guess she thought I was going to get her. And she just stood there and, and ate all them tomatoes just like they were candy. And I was so proud to see her do that because I sure rather see her eat fruits and vegetables and junk. So, even though Nanny does feed her junk every once in a while, like cookies and cake and ice cream, but. That's what we're supposed to do in it. Anyways, I'm going to overseed this. I always overseed everything and then thin it out. Because you never know how good it's going to come out. Just never know. I've had really good luck with the, the botanical interest seeds. I've had, I'm going to say, I'm going to be safe to say that I've had 98% of my seeds come up from this company. So, it's been good. I can rely on their seeds really well. They go rock. Just a half an inch deep, you want to cover it up, spinach. It's starting to get warm in here. About 70 degrees today. So, uh, it's looking good. Spring's coming. And here I've got, uh, it's called baby greens, and it's a, they call it a smoothie mix. I don't make smoothies, but I'll just eat them because I love greens, so. It says eight. To a fourth inch deep. I really need to mark that so I'll know where my spinach ends and when everything else begins. Okay, I'm gonna plant my I got my spinach down here. I wanna plant these baby grains in this area. And I know this doesn't look like a lot, but it will make a lot, and the opposite side of the greenhouse, I'll be planting it there, too. I don't like, I like kindly planting a little bit here and a little bit there and seeing where it does best. So you plant these an eighth of a fourth inch deep. So usually that means just to kind of smoother soil now. Oh, it's getting hot in here, but I love it. I ain't complaining. You know, Miss Brown and I, and I love lettuce and greens probably a lot more than he does. Now, he does love spinach. He likes me to cook spinach. He likes me to wilt it for him. But he will eat it just like you would with some lettuce and stuff. I'm the one that eats most of the greens. I love it. I love it in the summertime. Just makes me feel good eating them. Okay. I'm just going to shake this out. I hope they come off good. Like I said, I always oversee and then I thin. That's about half of the package. So we're going to let it be just like that. And it says an eighth of an inch, so I'm just going to lightly 
just kind of lightly dust it with compost soil. Like that. Not too much. Just make sure I've got it covered. And I tell you what, in the past, <laughs> I have had field mice, and it, I've even also caught a couple of big rats out here in the greenhouse. And Danny had set traps for them, because they would come in here and eat everything I had. All that work and time. So we put out some traps, and uh, you know, you can't let the rats eat your food. That's all there is to it. Humans are more important to feed. So, the rat had to go. That's just the way it is. Okay. Let some of this big stuff out of this compost. Heavy stuff. My water back in just a minute. Move my big butt down here. Y'all know how hard this is on the old lady. And I've got some, uh, Butterhead buttercrunch. This is from the botanical interest too. Eighth of inch deep toe. I plant this stuff every year, but I always read it because some seed packets, you never know what they're going to tell you in the directions. I don't know why they'd be any different. But. And I think sometimes in the past I have planted stuff deep. And I'm thinking, how come that didn't come out? Well, because you may have planted it too deep. I've been gardening ever since I was a little girl, but I'm still learning. Still learning. I remember being out there barefoot picking green beans. My grandma and grandpa had a big garden. We had a garden in Texas, too. We lived in a suburbs that well, somehow or another we had a garden back there. I just remember it. I'm just make me a little line through here. I'm not going to cover them up deep. I just want to make me a line. Like I said, I'll turn them out. I'm gonna sprinkle them like I would salt and pepper or something like this. I may not do everything politically correct in gardening, but I always have stuff come up and I always have plenty of food, so. You know, I can remember back in the, I don't remember it, but I've seen pictures and watched shows, documentaries, and my grandparents telling back in the Depression, you know, you had to go out there and plant your food. It didn't matter what your soil looked like, you just planted in it. It could be just nothing but clay mud. Not everything come up, but they said it was enough to eat. Sometimes we overthink things. I don't know. Well, I'm getting filthy. It's okay. I know how to take a bath. Okay, I just lightly covered that. Now I'm going to get my water can. Water it, thing. Oh, I got my seed packet wet. I need Lori. Okay. Mm -hmm. Got that much planted. I need something. Oh, I need. 
want to plant something back there. There's a corner back here. I'm going to put something in. I don't mean to get right in your face, but... I think I'm going to plant me a couple eggplant plants right here. See how they do. I know I'll have to repot them, move them out, but I'm going to start them right here. I love eggplant. I don't know what got me started on seeds, so not like them, but I do. I do now. I'm just gonna start me a few right here. Just a little space there that I've got left over. You don't want no wasted space. Plant something in it that'll feed your family. We're still out in my little greenhouse, and I've, I've got these containers in here. I love these galvanized containers, and I always plant mixed uh, greens and lettuce in it. So that's what I'm going to do today. Some of them big chunks of there. When you use your compost, you try to get as much of that big stuff out, but sometimes you just can't get it all. I've got some... Dwarf blue curled kale. I'm going to plant some kale over here. This says a fourth to a half inch deep. If I can get it open, I think I'm going to do a fourth inch deep. Another chunk. Chunk. I love putting my hands in this dirt. I bet I spent most of my time as a child digging in the dirt. I just feel my own mind I must have as much as I love it now as a 54 year old woman. Okay. So I'm going to sell this pretty heavy. So Overseed it. My nose is running. I don't know why. I guess because it's hot and humid in this. I need to come out here and sit a while. Maybe I'll lose some weight. Sweat some of this fat off. Okay. I'm going to lightly cover my. Tail seeds. Like this. I'm gonna plant two there. Alright, there's telling me that's there's ant That's where my tail is. Probably plant a little bit in there too. Okay, well Lori's gonna have to sit down. Her old niggas ain't gonna take it. Now, I've got a little bit of lemon basil here, and I'm going to plant it in different places throughout the garden, but I want to put a little bit here in the greenhouse, too. So I'm just going to dust me a place right here, because you just want it on the surface. I love to smell this stuff. I put it in my uh, all natural cleaners that I make, this lemon basil, and it's, it's great. Okay. I have enough left over in other places, so I have to be careful. Okay. So I'm just. I'm not even going to really cover it up, I'm just going to put salt and pepper, I'm just going to sprinkle it up right there. I'll put my marker right here. Okay, let's see. I've got some mixed lettuce here. It's just got all kinds of stuff in it. The 
call it Mes Mesclun, M-E-S-C-L-U-N. And it's supposed to be really beautiful salad leaves. It's just different colors, I guess, different kinds. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to plant this the same way you do your herbs, just the very top surface. I don't know how excited I get at garden time. All this fresh herbs and vegetables and fruits. and I just even start feeling better when it starts warming up and the sun is shining. I, I know y'all do too. You have to. Okay. Put this stuff on the road. I'm going to overseed it. I'm going to overthink it. Just kind of dust my soil on top. Like salt and pepper. Just like you're cooking. And I'm going to water it good. I'm telling y'all. We used to. Ben and I both were up taking care and growing a truck patch garden, but neither one of us can take care of it anymore. We're, I've had back surgery. He's got two ruptured discs. Our knees are bad. <laughs> Our hands, I've got arthritis so bad in my hands. But that's just part of getting old, so I don't complain about it. I just have to adapt to it. And uh, these raised beds and, and just growing exactly what we know we can take care of is what we have to do. I remember I had a huge garden out back at, at the big farmhouse and uh, I hurt my back and uh, I had to have emergency back surgery. And my sister-in-law's had to come pick that garden and it was a pretty big garden, bless their hearts. But they've done it. I've got the best sister-in-law's you could ever ask for. They're great people. Okay. I'm going to water this real good. Okay. Now, boy, I've got some Italian kale. And I've never, I, I don't know that I've ever ate any of this, but I'm kind of excited to plant it. I've got some of this other kale, the dwarf blue kale, too, that... I'm going to plant them both in here. Get some of this stuff out there. Get out of there. This is really rich soil. It's a, a lot of compost in our own compost. And if y'all seen my, one of my videos, it it shows several piles of compost that we've got on the place. We just keep adding to it and letting it compost. We, we just let nature take care of itself. And it's done a good job. Okay. A little more kale back here. The blue. Blue dwarf. Oops, I didn't have much of that left, did I? Okay. And here's the Italian kale. And there's quite a bit of it, so. I know I've got to look terrible on this camera. Out here looking like a vagabond, I guess. Sweat. Can't get up and down. But there's people in a lot worse shape, so I don't complain. Okay, I'm going to lightly cover this up, about a fourth of an inch deep, under that rock. I'm going to make another marker on that. Let's try it up there. Okay, right there's where my Italian. Italian kale. 
So now I'm going to find something to plant. What do I need? What do I need? What do I need? I've got some mustard, spinach, tender green. And I've still got to plant my chard. I've got to get my container for that ready. But I'm going to plant this mustard spinach. I bet it's, I wonder if it tastes kind of like mustard greens. I've never ate mustard spinach, but we're going to try it. I'm going to overseed it. <laughs> we put a fence up around the garden a couple days ago, and the chickens were having a fit wanting out in the garden, and I'm sorry, but, you know, they done their duty. They scratched and they pooped and they, they helped fertilize the garden. They done a good job, but it's all mine now, so they got to stay out and ain't liking it. I think they're staying on their side. The it's cursing me. I don't know. They want in here. They put a pretty tall fence. So maybe they won't fly up and get in. Okay, I'm going to water this. Oh, if I can get up. I wanted to show y'all something. I've got a lemon tree right here. Plant. I want you. Yeah, it's time to get out of this pot for sure. But I planted, this is a, I was using some lemons in the kitchen one day. And I had seen somewhere where you can grow lemons from regular lemon seed and I thought I don't know about that but I planted three of them and all three of them come up and this is one of them I'm gonna plant this in a bigger pot and all I got in here is uh, potting soil and my homemade compost and uh, I've got a little bit of citrus and avocado food here I'm just going to put some there and I'm going to cover it up. I don't want the roots to get right on it, but burn it up. But I'm going to plant it and put it in my greenhouse. And it made it through the, in the house all winter. And I've got a, a wood heating stove in there, so... It made it through all that, and I'm surprised. I've never had a lemon tree before, but I'm going to try. I'm going to leave it in my greenhouse, and when I take the top off my greenhouse and put shade cover on, I'm just going to probably leave it in there. And then right here, this was given to me, and it's a... I think it's a tangerine plant that the man had planted from just a tangerine he was eating. So we're going to try it too. Put me a little bit of citrus fertilizer in there. And I've used this fertilizer on them once or twice in the winter, so it didn't burn them up. They done real good with it. I bought this. It's faded out. It's organic citrus and avocado food. And this is going to last me forever. But, uh, when, you know, when we was going into the fall weather and Walmart puts all their stuff on sale, I think I might have give a dollar or a dollar fifty for it. I always wait till it still goes on sale and I go get it. That's how I roll. I also bought a bunch of uh, soil manure for like a dollar a bag at Walmart. Now Danny thought that with it sitting out through the winter and stuff, he wondered if it didn't lose a lot of its, you know, 
good stuff. And I said, I don't know. But for a dollar bag, you know. So, I spent like $20. And I had enough to get me. I ain't had to buy nothing so far for the garden. So, I always try to get to Walmart at the end of the summer going into fall when I start putting their stuff on sale. Okay, that's the tangerine plant. And this is the Meyer lemon. I really don't know if I planted this right. I don't know if I should have took these bottom leaves off and made plant up here. I don't know. Maybe somebody can tell me. And if I do need to do that, I'll replant it. But I'm just going to water it and put it in the greenhouse and see how it does. I'm up for anything. And I think it'd be so neat if I even got one lemon off of it. Wouldn't matter to me. I think I would have accomplished something. I can't tell you how many times I've tried to grow a avocado tree. Can't do it. Just can't just seem to do it. Thanks for stopping by and seeing me. I love the chit chat. Everybody get out and get your hands dirty. God bless everybody.